Ah, my new turntable. This thing is a, uh, well, it's a Crosley portable USB turntable and it has FM wireless technology. Uh, it's called the Crosley Revolution. Yeah, I'm not sure what's so revolutionary about it. It looks like the old Soundburger thing. I think it's called Soundburger. Uh, back from the 80s, maybe. Early 80s. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I just spur of the moment buy, and I bought it to replace this portable unit I have. And, uh, it's been good, but it uses D sized batteries. So that's pretty expensive. And this thing uses double A. Should be a little bit cheaper there. Smaller, lighter. You know, what I do with these is I, I don't know what I've been doing with that one and what I'm going to do with this one now is uh, take it with me when I go garage selling, estate sales or whatever. Maybe do uh, half price books and records. You know, I like to test out a record if I can just to see how noisy it is, you know, between tracks and everything, you know, because I don't like to waste a lot of money on some junk, you know. So a lot of times you can look at a record and it looks pretty good, but you get it home and, man, it is just awful, you know, just unlistenable. But, yeah, so far this thing is pretty cool. It has the uh, software in there if you want to convert, convert the uh, ELPs to MP3s. Power adapter. USB cable, 45 adapter, and uh, I tried it out with my headphones and it sounds pretty good. So far I'm really impressed. There's a handle over here, sorry about the lighting. Open button here, release it, opens it up. Take this record off real quick. Kind of see inside there a little bit. A little platter. Oh, this is where that goes. And transport it, I guess, turn it off. Looks like horrible lighting. Sorry about the iPhone video again. Put it in there, lock it shut. Man, this is pretty cool. See, USB output. A line out, headphones, DC adapter, battery compartment. Put some batteries in there already. Uh, I guess my phone's not going to focus, but it's that's a transmitter. Turn off and on, and it has two frequencies you can select. 88.1 or 89.9 yeah it's like a sound burger knockoff a lot cheaper I think I paid hundred and forty four dollars for it shipped you know it feels fairly substantial there so other side yeah Sorry for the bad video. Let's see if we can't get it going again. Turn the power on. Just an old Pat Travers record here.
There you have it, the Crosley Revolution. I'm going to have to say bye-bye to the new mark. It's been good, but too big and too heavy. I can't wait to use this out in the field and see what I can find. See you later, YouTube.